This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10, and today we're going to talk about the hybridization of carbon in methane. Carbon has four valence electrons. Two of opposite spin are in the 2s orbital, and the remaining two are spread out in the 2p orbital. Given this orbital filling diagram, we would expect that carbon would only form two bonds. It would form a bond here, where electrons would be shared, and it would form a bond here, where electrons would be shared, because covalent bonds are sharing of electrons. However, we know that carbon forms four bonds. This is the Lewis dot structure for methane, CH4. And because it forms these four bonds in this spatial geometry of a tetrahedron, we know that these four bonds are equivalent to one another. So how does carbon do this? It does it through a process of hybridization. Carbon's orbitals undergo hybridization to make four equivalent bonding orbitals. So what happens is that instead of having a 2s and a 2p orbital, they sort of combine and form a hybrid sp3 orbitals. Let me do that again. You've got one s orbital and three p orbitals, they hybridize together to form four sp3 orbitals. And you have one of carbon's electrons in each one. So now carbon can form four equivalent bonds with the four hydrogens. A hydrogen can bond here, can bond here, can bond here, and can bond here. SP3 refers to the fact that 1s orbital and 3p orbitals hybridize together to form four equivalent orbitals that have a 25% s character and a 75% p character. So if you had an s orbital hybridized with a p orbital, you get this hybrid shape where it's a little bit s and mostly p, and you form four of those orbitals together. Here would be these sp3 orbitals, which we have four of them, and they sigma bond, each one of them sigma bonds, with a hydrogen electron, with a hydrogen 1s electron. So that's the hybridization of carbon in methane. To get more chemical bonding help and a free gift, go to purplebonding.com. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin 10.